I'm at Hart, just south of Lake Wells, Florida, north of Frostproof, Florida. This is a missionary organization that has all kinds of fascinating plants and they've got a permaculture bent. Got some fuzzy gourds back here. Papaya. And there's Jerusalem artichokes and canna julis and an edible uh, hibiscus there. This is a sterile perennial cucumber variety here, which is delicious. Also called ivy gourd. There's your ripe one. This is another edible hibiscus. These are varieties of yams growing up here. This is actually the edible air potato, Dioscoria bulbifera, from Mexico. Across here there's velvet beans and a lot more yams, and there's a food forest on the other side. So which one? This one is the rubra over here, yep, and this several. with the deep lobing, this is the one that you actually cook and eat. Yep. Edible mulberry. They fruit really well. And this is the African yep. moringa. What did you call it? Moringa? Stenopatella. Stenopatella? Yep. Interesting, the leaves are, you can see the shape, but right off the top I would have said it was like a katuk variety. Sorrel. Yeah. That's cranberry hibiscus. Yep. We haven't grown that one. We've grown this quite a bit. Uh, it's our Thanksgiving cranberry. This is too easy. It's, it looks like it. It looks awesome. And that's African basil. African and uh, blue basil. African blue basil on the uh, this peach is a tree. Sterile basil that flowers all year long like that. It starts oh, in March awesome. and goes till the first frost with those flowers. The bugs really like them. Okinawa spinach. Haitian basket pine. Peach. Overstory. Eventual overstory. And this is the edible hibiscus. The That's other one. Echo. Echo variety. Cool. And a pigeon pea in here. And that's the Turk's cap. And shampoo ginger in the corner. Prickly pear. This and then that's a taro. Special variety of taro from Thailand that has a low oxalate leaf content. Okay, so it's the, it's the edible leafed variety. Um, Craig Hepworth gave me a little of that. Yeah, he's got a different one that he gave me. It's pretty similar. These, are, these look like a dwarf papaya variety that they're producing this low. Yeah. Possibly. Mine have gone, they get like, you know, this is a 10 feet. golden variety. Golden. Very nice. And then Katuk. Grove pepper. Edible Tetrofa. Oh yeah, there's the that pepper is pretty awesome. That's like tiny super spicy two year old pepper. Rose to the ground and came all the way back. <laughs> that's great. All these bananas. And that's Canna Ajulis. With uh, was that the that's the regular sugar cane behind it? Yeah, I don't know what type. Mine is whatever type they sold at the farmers market. There were two different colors, and I bought both of them, chopped them up, and planted them in the fall. In the spring, they came up. Moringa. There's a moringa. Betty bear grass. Where's that? It's a really nice grass that holds back erosion on contour lines. Ten foot root system. Oh, nice. And I see you've got a nitrogen fixer right here next to your, this is your ever-bearing mulberry. Did you deliberately plant the, uh... No, that just popped up. Voluntary nitrogen fixing. Or edible yams along the fence. And you can see the yams are climbing up into these old citrus trees here. Next to a large loquat, you can hear the chickens underneath. Lucena or Lucena lucifala. And that's it. Nice little food forest space. This is sea purslin. 
There's a big collection here of uh, tropical, useful edibles, biomass plants. This is the greenhouse. You have multiple banks of water plants with uh, wicking cloth that actually waters the plants from the bottom that they place along the side so they can plant their cuttings in. And they come right out again. Be able to start a few off that. It's beautiful. That's sea purslane. Sea purslane, I don't know the name. This is Celosia argentia, um, quail grass or lago spinach. It's a uh, amaranth relative, but it doesn't get the pest issues like amaranth, and it self sows everywhere. Once you plant it, you'll have it forever. They get about this tall and make big seed pods, and you'll see how many seeds drop out usually. A little early, maybe. Some of them are starting to. And once you plant this, you'll always have it. I love the feeling like stars in the morning. At night, you give me so much peace. You make me want to fight. A firefly soul deals with the thought of you. I love you with the strength of Elmer's glue. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true And the cow on the bottle sings for you